Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. Today I wanted to touch on five hyped note-taking apps, five new hyped note-taking apps for 2023. And we will just jump right into it with the first one, which is Reflect. Reflect was actually an app I tested out last year and it is really good. It was very good back then and it is just better now. It has tasks, it has all of your notes, it has a daily note page and a map. It has bi-directional link and links and the best part is the AI palette. Uh, and that's the main selling point of Reflect. It has GPT-4 right inside of your note-taking app. So if you're like me and, for example, have to write a lot in English and English isn't your first language or you just wanted to check that your grammar is correct, you can do it right inside of the app. So Reflect is a great new note-taking app that is talked about way too little and I've been using it or I used it for at least six months and I loved it and it is still a really really good app and it just gets better and better. It has a discord community where the founder as well as the team are really really invested and answer a lot of questions so if you want to want to check out Reflect, I will leave a link to them down below and I also have a little bit longer video on Reflect and I will link it up here so check that out if Reflect is interesting. The next app is uh, Capacities and this is the most hyped note-taking app for 2023 with good reason because the app is really really good. It still has some bugs, it doesn't have a mobile app or it has one in test flight if you pay for the Capacities Believer plan. I just wanted to add that Reflect also has a mobile app in test flight for iPhone. So overall this app is really cool. It is object-based note-taking which is something uh, new and something I believe a lot of people will like. So everything inside of Capacities is an object uh, and it is very easy at least in my case it is very easy to work with objects instead of just simply notes it has different views like notion has you can get it into a table a wall a gallery a list so the app is really flexible and it is quite similar to notion but I believe that Capacities is a lot better for personal note-taking, while Notion is a lot better for Teams. It has bi-directional links and no folders, so it uses tags to kind of sort out your notes and organize your notes. So the next one we are going to take a look at is uh, Tana, and Tana also is a great note-taking app. It is in early access, so it is free for now, but it will have a paid plan later. I tested this out around Christmas last year, and the app is really good. It is exciting, but I can't understand it. It is. It has a learning curve, but if you are invested and learn all the things associated with Tana, you can use the app as an everything OS so you can have your whole life inside of Tana. It is a outliner app so you can write outlines inside of the app. It uses what they call super tags to sort and organize your notes and overall this app is probably the most exciting of the ones I will touch on today and I, I really love this app even though I'm struggling to understand it but I've seen a lot of great videos where people show how they build a workspace inside of Tana and it is really cool so you can have your tasks in here you can have everything inside of uh, this app and I like it. It has a learning curve, so you will need to spend a little bit of time to 
learn the app uh, and it is still in early access plan. Uh, it has a mobile capture app where you can capture things inside of the mobile app and the team is re really doing a good job developing this app. The next one is Scrintle and Scrintle is also in an early access plan so it is five dollars a month. This is my note-taking app of choice so this is the one I like the most and it is five dollars a month if built annually or, or you can go for a lifetime payment. It's a one-time payment of 283 US dollars. So I use this app a lot and this is my note-taking app of choice so we can jump right into it. It is an infinite canvas with index cards so if you are into if you are into uh, more visual note-taking apps this is the one for you and I believe that visual note-taking apps will be popularized this year. There are a lot of new contenders and it remains to be seen who will be the best one but I like this app a lot. Scrintle is as I said my favorite app. You can link different cards together, you can archive different cards and it is really easy. Uh, so you don't have to delete the cards, you can simply just uh, archive them and you can search for different cards and put them inside of your uh, board so I like this a lot and um, as I have said many times in this video this is my note taking app and it uses tags as well to sort out your notes and organize them. The last one is also a visual note taking app similar to Scrintle. It is called Heptabase and is also in an early access plan. Here you can mind map, you can think in an infinite canvas with different boards and different notes and it is quite similar to um, Scrintle. I haven't actually used the app yet because it is in an early access plan and you will have to pay to uh, be able to test out the app but uh, it looks really good it might have a little bit more of a learning curve than Scrintle has it has a daily page which is called journal where you can jot down ideas it also has supports bi-directional links and uses tags to organize your information so here you can see an overview of different boards inside of an infinite canvas and inside those boards you can see different notes. It, it, it syncs in real time, has offline access which I know a lot of people like and it is really fast. So the early bird pricing comes in around $9.99 on the monthly plan and $6.99 per month if you pay yearly. It has a Windows app as well as an iPhone app for capturing. So you can capture just like in Tana, you can capture things inside of the mobile app and then organize it when you get back on a computer. So that's five note-taking apps if you're looking for a new one. I have done videos on a lot of these ones and I will keep doing videos on them so if you haven't done so already do subscribe and if you're looking for a new note-taking app in 2023 one of these might be suitable for you.